The simple sweep is a really powerful sweep from a hook-based guard. And one of the reasons I love it is the tripod sweep is a classic that works in so many different situations. And the sickle sweep pairs perfectly with the tripod sweep. You can, of course, go right into the sickle sweep. And there's also a cool way that you can pull guard into the sickle sweep that I'll show in a later video. But mostly when I hit the sickle sweep, and I think one of the, one of the sweep chains that is most effective is when we go for the tripod sweep, our opponent defends, and then we switch our foot position. So let's start from the outset of the guard. Jesse is standing, and I have my outside hook hooking his lead leg and I have this foot, my other foot is my attacking foot, and typically I want to have control of his heel here because this is my control leg, this is my attack leg. Now the classic tripod sweep foot transition is the hook comes out, toes out, heel on his hip, and I hit my hook behind his knee, right? And then I pull, down he goes. You can do this with any number of grips. I usually get it with the cross grip on the sleeve, but you can do it with any number of grips. We cover the tripod sweep in another video. But it's very common for when my partner sees this coming, for them to be able to step out and defeat this hook. And if they do that, right, now if I try my tripod, he can just step back and compensate his work. So it's, ne it's not possible for me to try this with the other so you can see a little bit more. So, what we're gonna do instead, and I'll show before we, uh, I'll, I'll show before when I show it in motion, which is we're gonna switch our foot position and go cross feet onto the hip and uh, cross foot behind his heel, going Achilles tendon to Achilles tendon. So I go for my tripod sweep, Jesse steps out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch my feet position. So I have this foot, heel and toes out. This foot comes heel and toes out. And then my other foot goes behind his leg. Now, very much like the tripod sweep, we're gonna pull with this hand, extend this leg. Hold the foot so you can come up and start to pass the guard. Let show that one more time. You can also, of course, go back and forth between these two. This is why it's so powerful for hook-based guards, because if you have an effective hook, you can keep that control, and it's gonna be pretty simple for you to go back and forth between these two sweeps. So I've got my outside hook and I've got my inside, or I've got my outside hook and I've got my attacking hook. I'm gonna grab, my, grab his heel, and I go for the tripod sweep. If he lets me get it, awesome, I'll just get it. But Jesse's hip to that, he knows he needs to step out. What I'm gonna do, my pelvis is pointed to the ceiling, I'm gonna switch my pelvis, and my feet change position. This goes into the hip socket, and I just step behind his leg as I pull. Now if Jesse tries to get up, as long as I'm controlling this bottom leg, he's not able to. So I'm always gonna be able to get up in combat base and uh, defeat his attempts to get up, so I am gonna end up on top. Let's show it one more time from this angle. So we've got the hook for control, we've got the foot on the hip for attack. I'm gonna control his heel so he can't step out. I'm gonna go for the tripod. He steps out, I'm gonna switch my feet, sickle, withdraw my legs, get up and stand to pass. Sickle sweep, really classic, and that combination can be really powerful, especially if you're really good at the tripod sweep and your opponent sees it coming.